So S60L is in production in China and will sell to the U.S. market in just a few months' time. The effort to persuade Americans to buy a premium car from China is a new push in Volvo's campaign to establish itself as a global luxury brand. Lu Yang reports from Chengdu, where the car is being made. This is the new Volvo S60L inscription premium sedan at the Chengdu Volvo plant. It will soon be loaded onto car carriers for shipment across the Pacific and finally rolled off in Los Angeles in August of this year. Volvo is leading the way for other Chinese automakers. Volvo has opened a global vision for all Chinese automakers. If it establishes a good marketing model in the U.S., many other Chinese companies will learn and develop their strategy. According to the Financial Times, this year Volvo will ship no more than 2,000 S60L sedans to the United States. With that number rising to about 5,000 over the next few years, the majority of Volvo cars sold in America will continue to be exported from its plants in Sweden and Belgium, or will be built at a new factory it intends to open in the United States. Volvo is not an indigenous Chinese brand, but is fully Chinese-owned since 2010. For many Chinese automakers, exporting Chinese-produced mainstream cars to the markets of the United States and other countries has been a long-term goal. Experts say it might be a window of opportunities for many other Chinese automakers to learn a model or strategy and then make breakthroughs for their own products. Professor Huang says China has gradually evolved from a supplier of low-cost, labor-intensive products. What we need now is the software, such as good enterprise culture and management. The technology is much easier to achieve for many Chinese companies. So the internationalized environment is not simply about resources, but the integrity of mechanisms, culture, resources, and so on. Chinese companies such as Great Wall Motor have exported primarily to developing countries. Experts say the real test for Chinese automakers is to make Chinese brands that are accepted in developed markets like Europe and the United States. As China's industrial transformation continues, it may not be long before that happens. Liu Yang, CCTV, Sichuan Province.